Your foaming dispenser from Kitchen Classics is going to include three main parts. The first part is the base unit, the stainless steel base unit. It's going to come with the soap tube uh, attached. The next one is the threaded tube. This is a rigid plastic threaded tube. The dimensions for this tube are one inch and it's about eight centimeters from the top of the fixed disc all the way down to the to the very first thread down here which is about 3.14 inches. As you can see that gives you plenty of room even if you have a, a three-quarter inch plywood deck um, underneath an inch of granite and so when it comes to installation really all you're installing is the rigid tube section and I'll, I'll show you how that works first thing you do you can see this comes with two rings put one ring on top now assuming you've got a hole in your granite or on your countertop somewhere you're going to slide this unit in the hole like that the second ring goes up underneath the, your cabinet or underneath the deck you're installing it on and then you simply screw in and you get it nice and tight. Now, you don't want to over tighten. A good finger tight like that makes a solid platform and that's all you need to do. If you over tighten it with a crescent wrench or any other kind of wrench, you run the risk of cracking this tube. And if you do that, the bottle is not going to screw in very well. It's going to fall out over time. If you happen to crack your threaded tube, send me an email at michael at sinksoapdispenser.com. I'll replace it for you. But just keep in mind that you want to get a real nice hand tight cinch down on that uh, nut and this will hold fast for years. Once this is installed, really your installation is complete. From here, underneath, you simply screw in the bottle. You don't have to over tighten it. Just screw it in secure. And then after that, you pour in your soap. If you're using the Kitchen Classics Organic Forming Soap, you pour in one-third of the bottle first, then fill the balance with water. That bottle will fill this reservoir three separate times. Once you have the bottle on, all you have to do now is place the stainless base on top of the threaded section sticking out of your countertop and lightly screw it on. Lightly tighten it just a bit to where it's solid on the mount and leave it at that. If you over tighten it, what will happen is you're going to fight against this nut and you don't want to do that. If you over tighten it the next time you try to unscrew it to refill the reservoir, you might unscrew the entire assembly. So just finger tighten it and then you're good to go. As you'll see, this is a three inch nozzle. It's got plenty of room to reach over your countertop and into your sink and that's the way you install this. In just a moment, I'm going to show you the installation in my kitchen so you can see how it looks in the granite. This is the installation that we have in our home here. And as you can see, we've got our foaming soap dispenser here, and we've got our regular sink soap dispenser here. Both of these have three-inch nozzles, and they easily fit over the sink. Now, one thing I wanted to tell you about the foaming soap dispenser is that it has been designed to last for years. Unlike the single-use plastic foaming soap dispensers you can buy, we had to engineer a built-in soap dispenser so that it would last longer than just a few months. One of the things we did in the design was we put in a heavy-duty spring. The spring you're going to find is heavier duty than the ones you have in the plastic bottles at home. So what you need to do when you depress the soap dispenser is depress it on the very top. It'll crank out all sorts of foam and it'll work great for years. What you do not want to do is try to press it down here. If you understand how leverage works, you'll snap this nozzle off uh, if you try. So this doesn't mean that the nozzle is poorly designed or that this is a cheap unit. It's just not designed to handle the kind of pressure that this spring is going to put on the dispenser. So always just use the palm of your hand or just put your thumb down and press it down it's gonna work great so that's it for this video thanks so much for watching if you have any questions please send us an email at michael at sinksoapdispenser.com thanks so much